Hey everyone, this is a quick demonstration video for a Pioneer SX2000. This is an all tube stereo receiver. Um, just a quick overview, I got this receiver from my friend's father who served in the military and purchased it in Japan. Uh, he brought it back with him to the United States um, and it is a dual voltage receiver so it can run on an American voltage as well as 230 volts. Um, just a quick overview, uh, everything on this receiver works great. Uh, I've tested every function and the only thing I found that I couldn't get to work was the light on the FM stereo indication. Um, but everything else works great. Uh, I tested both phono inputs, they work, the auxiliary inputs work, the tape section works, and the AM and FM works. FM, it picks up amazingly. I mean, it just is super, super accurate with FM reception. Um, but I've got it hooked up to the auxiliary, uh, to my CD player, and we'll go ahead and play some Doobie Brothers, and then we'll flip it over to the FM so you can hear its reception. the filters they work great it's a low-end filter high-end filter this is the bass control the EQ works great big bottom end big tube bottom end sounds amazing and the trebles work One thing I've noticed, that is if uh, you just let the input be static, so I pause the CD player and turn up the volume, there's no noise coming out of the speakers. That's a good indication that the tubes are in great condition. Um, but let's go ahead and flip it over to FM. Turn it down a little bit. I'm a shower curtain, and I do one thing, keep water from- Did you know that? There's subtlety. No. Oh. 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 The FM picks up you know amazing. Or private dining opportunity to earn your business. The economic opportunity and like the funding the right home repair company. Your faithful. Pulling your trendy fall style. Customers with transparent. Little Stevie. Uh, the only thing I've noticed is with the FM is that, like I said before, the stereo light doesn't light up, and that when you put it in FM auto, the volume goes down a whole bunch. Almost seems like that's a phase thing. Um, there is a phase switch on the back, I haven't messed with it, so that could be what's going on. But let's put it back on auxiliary. Yeah. I mean, these are extremely rare, especially to find in this condition. Uh, these early tube Pioneers were made in Japan. They were very well made. I believe it uses 12AX7 uh, driver tubes and uh, 7868, I believe, if I'm correct. Uh, amplifier tubes, uh, just monster receivers with that awesome tube sound. 
Uh, and this one's in great working condition. It really is. It sounds great. Both the phonos work. Um, just in really, really great condition for an amplifier that's, you know, from the late 60s. But anyways, thanks for watching.